in Caitlin um, for the um, first part of my tutorial set. Um, we are going to start here on the main page. Don't forget to search Google for Noob to Pro if you haven't found it yet, and it should be the first result. Um, so we'll go to number four in the contents and click on table of contents and it will take you to the list which I've shown you in the introduction and we shall have a look at the tutorial syntax um, and it says as you go to through the tutorials um, it's running it's basically telling you different um, keyboard keys and mouse buttons and stuff pretty easy um, so this is pretty useful yeah have a look at this first um, there's stuff like FN um, function and it explains to you what that is um, if you click the number two it takes you to the footnotes and it's only found on laptops so if you're not using the laptop don't worry and it's stuff like that so I'd advise you to check that out and possibly print it if you've got a printer so let's go to the next page blender interface and it first off describes the windowing system as a treat which after you've worked out what everything is it really is because it's easier to use than you think on air it describes it as looking like a spaceship control panel and you have never seen anything like it which for me was true if you're different than fair news so it now states to move on to the next page so that's what we will do um, here's a few content things and as you can see there's quite a bit to go through so I'm going to be as quick as I can so sorry if I'm going a bit fast so it states here that you, uh, most readers will run Blender while reading the book which I would say the same for with the videos which I would advise for the videos um, so we'll just um, skip a bit of this like I say um, you should read the book as well because we will be skipping some um, a few things um, it says um, shortcuts to switch between applications is alt and tab and stuff like that and it gives you the different things for Linux and Windows um, Blender is provided with some command timeline um, which I will show you when we open Blender ok then so um, it gives you an example of um, this and it is something that isn't completely necessary to know but I would advise you to know um, so have a read of that um, there you go we'll start here it's all about how the interface is divided um, it's divided into three sections so let's open blender like so and we shall um, first see a command line um, object I believe that's the called the key command line um, on yours it may say where mine says checking for installed python it might say that you haven't got it or something to that effect but don't worry that comes in later um, so the interface is split into three different parts um, one of them that you can't actually see at the moment but as you progress through the tutorials you'll know what it's on about well 
it's basically where you drag this down and you see this. Um, so this main part is the 3D view and um, it begins with a square, a light and a camera. So hold down the middle mouse button and move the screen around. By the way I am using Windows so if you're using a different type of thing like a laptop without a mouse and stuff I am not going to be able to tell you the buttons for that because I don't use one. So here I am going into view and there's cameras but I've only got one camera which is this if you remember um, side front top and camera that is basically the view that that camera's taking but it's not something you really need to know um, but we're going back to top which is what it was previous to this um, so um, basically when you rotate the screen with the middle mouse button in, in the views pop up menu it instantly snaps to the user and you can tell by the fact that it has a tick but that isn't completely necessary to know at this moment anyway so this bit this bit and this bit they're all called headers um, they have a lot of controls all different um, this is the buttons window header which as you can tell as I change these buttons um, this is the buttons window this is the header for the 3D view which we've just gone over and this is the header for this drop down thing which I mentioned earlier the third section of the screen so that will do for that let's go back into this um, it gives you little um, windows. I've gone through the. Um, it, I've told you to open Blender. Um, I've told you what the 3D viewport is in the buttons window. So that's. Um, oh, yes, something else which I've missed. This grid here, all these squares, they're known as Blender units. Um, they can be whatever measurement you want them to be basically but I think that will come into play later on in the book um, I have explained the headers um, so in this book it's highlighted them so if you're in need of this then there you go um, so changing the window type which I haven't said is you come into the header and you click on this little box here with the picture in we'll do it on the 3d viewport um, header at the moment and you get this pop-up list of different things um, it's quite a few different things which look even more confusing such as this I've just clicked on Action Editor by the way um, and you've got the IPO Curve Editor which look just as confusing as this if not more this 